Hey everybody, Dr. Jason here from 416 Dentistry, and today we have uh, Mark Chen, hey who's an incredible denturist, a wizard when it comes to digital dentistry, and he's gonna go over some features of the i500 and the Medit i700, and give you three reasons why you might wanna upgrade from the i500 to the 700. So yeah, as Jason said, I am a denturist, so I have had the pleasure of using the i500 unit for about uh, three years now. Um, it is the older unit, and it's definitely been upgraded into the i700 model. I'm just gonna touch a couple of topics that are uh, really interesting interesting with the i500, uh, which you guys might not know about. It is one of the lightest intraoral scanners on the market. It's quite simple to use, one button touch. Uh, it has the autoclavable tip, um, and it is one cord, and it goes straight to USB-C. Um, so that's the baseline model for the i500. Um, still a valid unit, so if your price range cannot handle the 700, that's one of the reasons you might want to stick to the 500, but the 700 is definitely, if you can afford it, one of the reasons you would upgrade is definitely for performance. So if we're talking about performance, hardware-wise, the 700 is definitely a high-performance unit. Um, and the big positive factor is that the tips are definitely autoclavable more than the older model, which is uh, great for a clinician like Jason himself or myself who is a denturist because obviously definitely during COVID times we want the ability to autoclave our consumables longer and use them longer than it was once. The other topic is cord management. Um, the older unit uh, was permanently attached. Now with the newer unit, um, the cord is USB-C detachable. So if we're clumsy, and we all are sometimes when we're busy in our practice, we can trip over cords, and it has a likelihood to detach instead of uh, breaking the cord, which would in turn break your scanner. And the other feature which is really important is that it's quite a bit smaller. So if you compare those two, um, you can physically see the size differential, which uh, as a clinician, uh, I do a lot of extra oral scanning because I'm a denturist, but Jason is a clinician interorally. So this is definitely very easy to use in the posterior region where it's a very big struggle for intraoral scanners of the bigger nature uh, to get the distal of the seven or eight, for example. And that matters for implant work too. So if you have a posterior implant and you need to scan it, that's definitely something that you need to consider when using intraoral scanners. But some of our patients, older or younger, can't really open quite readily and that can be definitely a drawback. So a positive note, it's form factor, it's autoclavable tip, and also the apps, uh, both for the 500 and for the 700. Um, so those who still have the 500 and are not upgrading, those apps are still applicable to you too, but also more of a performance factor for the 700. So it gives you really huge uh, bang for your buck, so to speak. So you have smile design. You also have, for those who have in-house model printing capabilities, you can model build without paying extra. And you also have ortho simulation capabilities too, just to name a few applications. So three points, basically size, form factor, autoclavability, um, sterilization, and obviously the applications, the apps that bring like a huge value to the interscoring control scanning capabilities. And also for me uh, and for Jason also, there might be other people that are using the scanner not just a primary clinician, like your assistants or a uh, hygienist. So it's, it's quite easy and easy to use. Like we just scanned with Jason like five seconds ago, five minutes ago, yeah. half an hour ago. Yeah. Um, and he'll probably like touch base on his experience for like scanning himself for the first time with the 700 unit. Yeah, so Mark and I are gonna be going over a lot of content about the Medit, uh, the i500, the 700, and we hope to be able to share our experiences with you uh, in order to shed some light on some of this uh, amazing technology that we have in dentistry that we're so excited about. Thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Peace.